when someone talks about the Subaru Impreza, the first things that come to mind are jewels, blow off valves, and loud exhausts. <laughs> What if I told you that this non-turbo, naturally aspirated Impreza is the best bang for your buck you can get today? And for those of you guys who don't believe me, this 330,000 mile Impreza begs to differ. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time we have a serious conversation about the 2000 to 2002 non-turbo Subaru Impreza. All right, let's be honest and realistic here for a minute. Chances are this will be the only Impreza most of us will ever get a chance to own. Sure, it might not have the my dick is bigger than yours spoiler or decals or turbo for that matter. But what it does have is reliability. Something that can't be said about its roided out frat boy brother, the WRX or the STI. No, seriously, how many Turbo Imprezas are driving around there with 330 freaking thousand miles? Now, this particular model comes with a 2.5 liter flat four Boxster engine. It makes roughly 167 horsepower, which is about 60 less than the turbocharged WRX and STI models. But honestly, with a few bolt-on mods, you can get relatively close to those numbers and still keep the reliability and dependence that comes with a naturally aspirated engine. But it's not always about more power or being the fastest. This car is so damn versatile, dude. Like, let, let's break it down for a minute. Let's break it down, okay? For starters, you have a solid, reliable engine in the stock... Keyword here, stock, 2.5 liter, flat four Boxster engine, okay? Now, with some basic bare bones maintenance and without the turbo adding extra strain on the internals, this stout little four-cylinder will last you a very long time. Um, you remember those old Subaru commercials that would talk about how 70% of their cars are still on the road? They were referring to the naturally aspirated versions. Add Now go ahead and add a roomy and comfortable interior, a crap ton of cargo room both in the trunk. Just fold down the seats and you can fit enough plywood and sheetrock to build an entire freaking house, bro. Uh, not to mention you can carry things on top of the roof cargo area as well. But wait, there's more. This mofo came standard with all-wheel drive. I mean, seriously, what else could you want from a car? All you youngins out there looking at Miatas and Mustangs, where you should be looking at is at a naturally aspirated Subaru freaking Impreza. Throw in some basic bolt-ons and you can beat all the soccer moms on the way to cutting down Christmas trees, kayaking or scissoring or whatever the fuck Subaru owners do. Maybe I'm just getting older, but for some reason I find a car that's as capable, versatile, durable, and affordable as this one more appealing than having something like this. <laughs> and that's pretty much the video. Now, go on Marketplace and try to find yourself a naturally aspirated either wagon version of the Subaru Impreza or just a regular old sedan version. You're going to have a blast in it. Um, sure, you're not going to be beating other muscle cars and stuff like that, but hell, you can get to point A to point B. It's You can drive it in the snow, drive it in the mud, drive it wherever the hell you want. It's not going to let you down, and you can still make it your own. You can still make it look freaking badass. Now, uh, see, originally the video will be over right now, five minutes. You know, people got things to do. You guys have jobs. You're on lunch breaks. We have, we don't have much time, but YouTube unfortunately requires me to make eight minute videos at the minimum. So at this point, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just post vid. You guys are going to be watching pictures of regular Imprezas 
And uh, I'm going to try to say these uh, tongue twisters. And you guys are going to hear me try to say tongue twisters for approximately three minutes. Uh, click away right now if you value your time and your life. If not, join me and uh, have a couple laughs. Here we go. Now, the first tongue twister is Mermaid Bomber Barnacle. I'm going to try to say all of these as fast as I can. Uh, here we go. Um, all right, hold on. I got I to gotta wet my lips. Mermaid Bomber Barnacle. 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 All right, I'm an idiot. Next one. Uh, let's see here. It's going to be, ooh, I like this one. It's going to be Juju Smith Schuster. Okay, here we go. Uh, Juju Smith Schuster. Juju Smith Schuster. Juju Smith. Sch <laughs> oh, God, what am I doing with my life? Juju Smith. <laughs> Juju Smith Schuster. Juju Smith Schuster. Juju Smith Schuster. Juju Smith Schuster. That's actually not bad at all. This next one is one that I always struggle with. And that is dual rear wheels. This is a tough one. Dual rear wheels. Here we go. Dual rear wheels. 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 Oh my god. All right. And for this last one, it's going to be hitch, wench, hitch. Hitch, wench, hitch. Hitch wench hitch 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 hitch what am I saying hinch it's hitch nice, wench man, hitch hinch wench hitch I'm like how freaking versatile right, it is I'm, I'm just gonna and then I blank for another minute oh, I can't yeah. do this anymore all right. And then this is the last shot. And I did find out some uh, between the STI and the front bumper that I've got. Right. The only difference is the scoops that are on the side.